five more kilometers to Lake Louise. I think that's about 16 miles roughly. The bridges ahead are called Wildlife Bridges. All along the road they have this fence. You can see it over there. It's like a six foot fence on both sides. So they make these bridges across the road for the wildlife to be able to cross to get to one side to the other. There's trees and grass all across the top. They're really pretty. Make it safer for the animals so they don't cross the road and have an accident on the way. I don't know about you, but you gotta be pretty short to go under this little bridge. We'll pull off on the side of the freeway here. Have to check it out. See what we can see. Beautiful mountains, sun coming up over the side. Oh, the Bow River. Looks like it's also a place where a lot of folks travel and pull over to sleep for the night. This is about 10 kilometers north of Banff on Trans-Canadian Highway 1. Think. Beautiful. It's a pretty river. Oh, well, you remember the bridge I showed you here a second ago? Cindy just told me what it is. It's a replica of the wildlife bridges that she just told you about going over the freeway. And it's telling how the wildlife can cross safely across the highway. I didn't realize that. That's pretty neat. As we continued our adventure, we exited for Lake Louise and decided to take a left shortly after to go to Moraine Lake. The color of the water in the lake is from what is called rock flower. It is from the glacier melted water that flows into the lake. The historic Moraine Lake Lodge has sat on the banks of the lake in one form or another for over 100 years. From June 1st to October 1st, you can get a room, have a meal, rent a canoe, or take off hiking from this scenic location. We're gonna take a short hike up the rock pile trail to an overlook that will give us a bird's eye view of Moraine Lake. Come along with us. Let's take a look. We're at the top of the trail to Moraine Lake. Beautiful lake. It's gorgeous here. A little windy.
After visiting Moran Lake, we continued on up the road to our destination of Lake Louise. here at the uh, Lake Louise, at the Lake Louise Hotel and the Lake Louise Lake. So we're going to go walk around, take a look at the lake, go in the hotel. Maybe have, that. yep, maybe have some lunch later. See you later. This is beautiful Lake Louise. The waters in the lake are bluish green, turquoise kind of color from the glacial melt. They grind up the rocks and turn it into a flower that colors the water in this way. Hotel now. The water running out of Lake Louise. What would you say the color of that water is? Uh, kind of like a sea foam green. It's beautiful. The Lake Louise Chalet began operation in 1890 with just two guest rooms. It was popular and demand was rising for more rooms, so the Canadian Pacific Railway's architect, Francis Rattenberry, designed and oversaw an expansion of the chalet to 120 guest rooms by 1911. Records show that in 1905, 5,700 guests had visited the chalet paying between $2.50 to $5 a night, including meals. When Rattenberry left the railway, Walter Painter took over and expanded the chalet to 320 guest rooms by 1920. This is what it looked like then. On July 3, 1924, the wooden Rattenberry expansion burned and was rebuilt with a concrete and strong wing like what we see today, making a total of 386 guest rooms. The hotel was seasonal until 1982 when it opened for the first time for year-round guests. Let's take a brief look inside at the Grand Foyer and some of the hallways of this great hotel. In 1987, the hotel expanded again and then again in 2004 to a total of 550 guest rooms. The dining room has great views of Lake Louise through its arched windows. What a great place to enjoy a meal. Today, about 20,000 people a day visit the lake during the summer months. Here's some distances. Wow. 
You go all the way up to the beehive, it's five kilometers. Nice access around the lake. Boathouse over there for renting canoes. What do you think? It's beautiful. It's a beautiful lake area. It's a pretty. The trail around Lake Louise is fairly flat, but it is kind of wet, so it's advisable to wear some sort of hiking shoes or boots. Beautiful view around the lake if you walk around it. You can see that as we round the corner, you're going to see the hotel on the other side of the lake. As we wrap up our visit to Lake Louise, I want to invite you to click the icon to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already subscribed. Join us for weekly videos of our RV adventures as we explore America and beyond. Please give our video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it on your social media so others can enjoy our travels. See you later. See you next time. Bye. Say, say bye.